Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about screening process and writing up the method for a report. So far, we have talked about specifying research questions using uh, frameworks, the importance of having a protocol, and search strategies. Once candidate articles are identified through the search process, these articles need to be checked for relevance to the research question. Before checking individual articles, make sure that the duplicating process is done. Consider using citation management software such as EndNote to organize and dedupe reference records. EndNote is capable of handling large numbers of reference records importing easily from many literature databases and looking for full text. EndNote is also powerful in deduplicating. After deduplication, we have to sort articles. The selection decision should be made based on the eligibility criteria that are predefined in your protocol. Eligibility criteria should be as specific as necessary. Clarify definitions, have determined if an article should be included or not, and provide reasons for exclusions. Let me show you an example of eligibility criteria on the next slide. As you can see, here's an example of eligibility criteria for research question. The effectiveness of interventions using computer, mobile, or wearable technologies aimed at reducing set, uh, set, uh, sedentary behavior. In the inclusion criteria, they specify the study adults aged 18 years and over and also other uh, criteria. In the exclusion criteria, they do not want to include publications that are not written in English, or the interventions to increase physical activities, or the settings for this intervention is have, uh, happening in our hospital setting. For the process of screening, there are some good practices. At an early stage of screening, irrelevant articles can be quickly excluded with skimming titles, keywords, and abstracts. In later stage of screening, candidates' articles have to be looked at a more detailed. For example, you would decide to exclude an article after reading some parts. However, the likelihood is that some articles will have to be read in full before the decision could be made. For marginal articles, which refer to those for which inclusion and in exclusion is uncertain. You can keep them in the inclusion set and make final decisions when extracting data. There are some software out there used for sorting. Rion is a free software to manage the sorting process, but if you are more comfortable with other software, you are welcome to use them. For example, if you use EndNote citation management software, you may want to create three separate folders. The first folder is for included articles. The second folder is for excluded articles. And third folder is for articles that are you're not sure. More for systematic review software. Check out this website. I like to highlight a few things in the stage of reporting, especially writing methods. 
As I mentioned earlier, a comprehensive literature review can be presented as a technical report, conference proceedings, or journal paper, or even a chapter in your thesis or dissertations. A report usually includes or at least most of the information that is needed to provide traceability from individual primary studies to the results and conclusions of a review and to demonstrate rigor in applying the review process. When writing methods, depending on which type of review, there are some key components, including resources, including uh, interfaces, which databases you used in your search process. If you are using grid literature, you should mention that. And the day that the search performed and describe your search uh, strategies. If you use filters, please mention that and describe additional search strategies. Writing up methods is not required by a literature review, but uh, it would be a good idea to show the rigor of your research strategies if you explain how you locate these articles. And this is an example of methods from a systematic review reflecting most of the key components. Oftentimes, if your research project takes longer, for example, up to one year, you may have to rerun search to include the latest findings. You can also use a Prisma flow diagram to show how the studies are selected and deselected. This is not required for a literature review. There are some guidelines and standards for systematic reviews widely used in medicine and public health. You may think about applying some strategies from systematic reviews when working on your thesis and dissertations. And here are some further readings. Thank you for watching.